I wish I could have been out there. <laughs> Obviously, they know you as a player from being here in camp. Was yesterday more about just proving you were healthy from the hands? Um, yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. What was the feeling like to be in, be out, and then back in again? Uh, for me, uh, I've been around for a while, so I, it didn't affect me as much as it might some other guys. Uh, my whole mindset was I trained on Thursday when they played, so I kind of put my mindset in the, that I was playing that day so I could stay into it just in case I did have an opportunity to come back week two and it worked out. Well, you were sitting there watching the game at home. Were you like, so I watched it. I watched it like the second half, like okay. bits of it. So the first half and earlier than that, I was working out training. Okay. Were you like a coach, me looking at certain situations? I could have done this. I could have. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. I, I, it's always easy to sit home and on the couch and say you could have did this or did that. I, I was just more so trying to see what plays they were running and see if I could name the plays, what they were doing, and everything. Did you always know that there was a good possibility you would be back? Yeah, I had a I had a possibility I'd be back. That's what I was told. So it wasn't guaranteed, but it was an opportunity. You said you watched the game last night. Uh, Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thank you, man. Right, no it. problem. When you see a, a game like we saw Tampa in over the weekend, a lot of points, not a lot of defense, yeah. does that kind of get you even more motivated to have a big game this week? Uh, I think every week is different. Um, yeah, it was a lot of points last week, but I'm one of those guys, you know, I've been around, I've seen a lot. You see teams give up a lot of points one week, and then the next week they come out and be a completely different team. So you just find out what worked for them guys last week to, to be able to have them big plays and make them big plays and hope they put themselves in that same situation and we take advantage of it. They've got some injured starters in their secondary. They're going to be starting some rookies, a lot of inexperience there. Uh, how do you like the matchup? Uh, well, i got to take a look at the, the, the young guys a little yeah. more, to be honest. Uh, I haven't really got a good grasp of watching them. I was, I was more so trying to catch up and gain all the offensive stuff and, and get back into the rhythm of things. So I haven't had a, enough time to really dig in and look at them yet. And I'm a little late to the interview, so you probably already answered this question, but how do you feel to be back here and back in this locker room? Is it like you don't even miss a beat, or is it a little surreal? How does it feel? Uh, not surreal. Uh, I feel like I didn't miss a beat. I just felt like I had a week to, to rehab, to be honest. Um, so I took advantage of that, uh, had some rest and rehab, and then I was grateful for the opportunity to be able to come back. How much of a factor is that you already have such familiarity here as opposed to showing up on another team? A uh, big factor, because you don't have to learn the playbook all over. Uh, I pretty much know the playbook. Uh, and you could kind of build off where you left off at. So if you were somewhere else, you'd be doing your homework all night in the playbook, all, right. all that? I'm one of those smarter guys. It doesn't take me long to, to catch on on offensive stuff and, and things like that. So I'm pretty good when it comes to studying stuff and catching on pretty quick.